All right, everyone. Last week, a petition was created on cha on uh, the White House's official site. Now, if it gets 100,000 signatures, the White House typically responds to it. Uh, there have only been a few cases where they ignore this. Obama actually implemented this, the idea that you could get a White House official response to like an idea or a pe or general petition or whatever uh, if it got traction. It's already at 43,000 signatures, so it's almost halfway there. It probably will hit its goal, but we need to keep spreading it around to make sure that that happens because it's already been taken up by InfoWars itself. They've already posted about it. I've posted, some other creators have. We need more people to post about it because it, here's what the petition says. Uh, it's to get InfoWars a seat at the table in the White House press corps. That is, the idea is having Alex Jones uh, be given a press pass so that he can sit next to Jim Acosta. It would be an epic troll, and, and by the way, even if the White House just responds and says, well, we're not going to do that, it would still be funny. It will get in the news if that happens. And it would be funny even to see the Trump administration's potential double standard if that were to happen. Because, of course, Alex Jones, I would argue, more reliable than CNN. That's not saying much necessarily, but, you know, you know I, think, I think anything is more reliable at this point than CNN is. But the idea to sort of troll Jim Acosta. Uh, the idea that this could de this could definitely be like uh, one of those things where like Salon and Vice and these uh, groups inadvertently begin spreading it around. So like, oh, evil racist MAGA fans are trying to get horrible bigoted conspiracy theorist Alex Jones in the White House press corps. It could become like a, a chaotic lulzy free for all basically. So if you're in the US, please do sign. Make sure to confirm your email if you do, otherwise it, it won't count. Now, you do have to confirm your email. The White House isn't going to misuse it. It's a government site. It's directly uh, governed by the Constitution. Ironically, that means has more actual free speech involved than any, like, private corporation bullshit. Um, if you're not in the U.S., you can still help by spreading it around. Like, if you're a creator, definitely make a video on the subject. Encourage your U.S. fans to sign and everyone else to share it around. Now, we could hit that goal within a week easily. Uh, it's, it wouldn't be beyond the realm of possibility. Uh, not that long ago, it was like you know, a few hundred signatures. And then by the end of the first day, I think it was about 1,400, if I remember correctly. And then by the end of the third, it was like 10,000. So it's definitely experiencing significant growth. It's uh, added a couple thousand since last night. When I went to bed, it was just over 40,000. Now it's 43. So it's growing quickly. Uh, but in order to keep that momentum up to hit its goal, we need to keep spreading it. That's the only reason I'm making sort of a follow-up video. Anyone who hasn't seen the first one, link in the description, of course. Take that petition, sign it, and or share it, preferably both if you're in the United States. Uh, and we can definitely get some uh, some epic trolling going here. Because that's really, uh, you know, the humor. It's, it's that season. It's getting on towards the 25 days of Christmas. We need some humor. We need some lighthearted, jolly things. Jim Acosta will get lonely there because he's a pariah among all legit journalists. Uh, anyway, so Alex Jones will come along and, like, look at him sideways the whole time. And it would just be really funny. That's about all. Peace out.